The date time module includes a date method for getting dates. So let's import date time and then we'll create a date, Independence Day. And the parameters are year, month, and day. Independence Day in the United States was 1776, July 4th. And now we can look at that. And you see it's a date time dot date object and it shows the year, month, and date. There's also a nice convenience method for getting the current day, the today method. Date time dot date today. And that gives us January 29th, 2016, which is the current day. You can also get the date from a timestamp. Let's import time and then check out time dot time. That's the number of seconds since the epoch. Let's assign that to a variable. We'll call it t. And then we'll do t divided by 60. That's to get the number of minutes. Divided by 60 to get the number of hours. Divided by 24 to get the number of days. Divided by 365.25 to get the number of years. And that gives us 46 years since the epoch. Remember the epoch is January 1st, 1970 at midnight. So 46 years later is 2016 where we are today. We can use the from timestamp method of date time dot date and pass it time dot time to get today. And that also gives us the current day. Now once you have a date object, you have access to the month, day, and year properties. So if we look at Independence Day, and I guess I called that Independence Date, we can get the month like that, July. We can get the day, four, and we can get the year, 1776. We can also get those date parts in a tuple using the time tuple method. And you can see that actually gives us a time dot struct time object with the year, month, and day set to 1776, seven, and four, and then all the time parts set to zero because those aren't specified in a date object. The weekday method gives us the day of the week. Three would be Thursday. Monday is zero, Tuesday is one, Wednesday is two, and Thursday is three. So the original Independence Day in the United States was on a Thursday. If we wanted to check out what day of the week Independence Day would fall on this year, we could use the replace method. I'll call it iDay, gets Independence Date dot replace and we'll set year to 2016. And now we can do I day dot weekday and Independence Day on 2016 is on a Monday. So these are some of the methods of the date time dot date object which you create using the date method in the date time module. Next, we'll look at date time dot time objects.